Hey guys, Zach here, and welcome back to another action figure review, and today we'll be taking a look at the Godzilla vs. Kong Battle Damage Warbat. Now of course this monster is going to appear in the upcoming film Godzilla vs. Kong. Of course as of me recording this, the movie's not out yet, so I don't really know if the movie's good or not. I'm definitely going to review it once it does come out. I know I'll be in college, but like, it's one of those things where like, I was going to wait, but... It's Godzilla vs. Kong. That's, like, a big deal as far as Godzilla movies go. So, I'm definitely not going to wait to talk about it. I'm going to watch it the day it comes out, you know, for us Americans. Uh, I know it comes out in other countries, but I'm going to watch it. I'm going to make my review the next morning, and then I'll upload it Thursday or whatever. So, yeah. Or maybe I'll upload it, like, I don't know, that Sunday or something. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. So, Yeah. So, Warbat, I don't know anything about this monster. All I know is that in the trailer, I just see Kong just take one and just bash it against another one, which is pretty cool, but, yeah. Other than that, I know nothing about this monster, so, yeah. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's just get right into this. So, first, we'll take a look at his accessory. He comes with a little Osprey, which is... It exists, you know, no painting or articulation, but the sculpting and detailing is... It's there. There's not a lot to this, and honestly, it's just a cheap little accessory. You know, I don't think anyone's really going to care about this, if I'm going to be completely honest. So, yeah. Anyway, for Warbat, him or herself. I don't know its gender. So, yeah. Uh, first, we'll take a look at the paint. And the painting on this figure isn't great, but it's not terrible. So let's take a closer look. So, of course, uh, the wings here are painted a, almost like an orangish-brownish color, which does look nice. And we do have bits of brown for the, I guess, bone structure. And, of course, the body itself is painted brown. The colors on this thing actually reminds me of, like, the ship that um, Jabba the Hutt flies in when, like, they're about to drop Luke Skywalker in the um, Sarlacc pit. And the uh, sixth Star Wars. It's been a while since I've seen the original trilogy. Forgive me. It's really amazing how Disney kind of killed Star Wars. But that's a topic for another day. And by another day I mean never. Because I'm probably never going to talk about that. You know I'm not really a big Star Wars fan. I'm sorry. But yeah. So of course the body here is brown. And the face here. The painting is. I'm not going to lie. The painting here looks pretty bad. The teeth are white. And the eyes are yellow. But. That's pretty much it. You know, they do look very cheap, and honestly, I'm not a big fan of how they look. So, yeah. Anyway, that's pretty much it for the painting on this figure. Very simple, you know. There are some parts that they could have touched up a little, like the eyes, but other than that, it's not terrible. I don't hate it, as far as paint goes. So, yeah, the painting on this figure, I'd say gets like, maybe three quarters of a pass. It's better than the scroll crawler's paint, but... It's still a little on the cheap side, so, yeah. Anyway, now we'll take a look at the articulation, and the articulation on this figure is not bad. Of course, there's a hinge in the jaw, so his mouth can close and open, like so. The wings can move backwards, about that much each. Oh. The wings actually come disassembled in the packaging, but assembly is very easy. Just pop those on, and there you go. And the battle damage bit here... One under my tripod. Yeah, that sort of comes off. I don't get it. Well, okay, I kind of get it, but, like, honestly, you didn't really need this. You know, it's cool that they added it, but it does look a little weird in the back. So, yeah, cause you see, like, all the holes there. So, I could have done without it, but it's still a neat little touch. I don't hate it. And yeah. So, at the base of the tail here, we have a swivel right here. I think, um... No, I thought that was a swivel. And we have a swivel here. And for some reason, it comes with a stand. This thing, you know, stands fine on its own, but I like to include it because, you know, why not? So, yeah. Anyway, that is it. Let me just fix the... There we go. That is it for the articulation on this figure. And the articulation on this figure isn't terrible. It's not the worst, but it's not terrible either. So, yeah. Anyway, now we'll take a look at the sculpt, and the sculpting on this figure looks pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Very, like, Cobra-esque, I do like how it stand up, or it's stanced up, 
excuse me. Um, actually, you know what this reminds me of? Um, <laughs> alright, so, if you're under the age of 18, don't look up the show. Please don't, because I will get in trouble. But, there's a show I like, it's an anime, and it's called Monster Masume. And one of the characters, uh, her name is Mia, she's like, a Lamia. So basically, like, there are no figures of that show, no, f like, figures or anything like that, but there's one statue, one, like, official statue, and it's of Mia, and the pose, like, her tail is in kind of reminds me of this. Of course, like, they're both, like, you know, snake-like, so I guess, you know, that makes sense, but I know that's kind of a weird thing to compare it to, but, like, that's what this kind of reminds me of, like, the stance here. I know Monster Masume, it's not a perfect show, I'm not gonna lie, but... I'm not gonna lie, it's not terrible. I like it, you know? Obviously not for weird reasons, because this show gets really, like, weird and uncomfortable, I'm not gonna lie. But, you know, for what it is, you know, I like it. For me, it's like, maybe a 7. I like it. It's a fun show, you know? But, anyway, that's besides the point. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, the sculpting here looks nice, you know? I like the teeth and everything. And just... Yeah, I don't really know what else to say. Again, I don't really know anything about this monster because, like I said, the movie isn't out yet by the time I'm recording this. So, yeah, I digress. So, the sculpting on this figure, it's fine. I like it. I'd say it gets a pass. So, yeah. Anyway, now we'll take a look at the sculpt, or detailing. We just looked at the sculpt. And the detailing on this figure is not terrible, actually. So, let's take a closer look. So, the detailing on the head here... Not really too defined, but you can see a lot of, like, uh, creases and everything, which looks okay. The wings are detailed really nicely. All of the creases and everything here look very beautifully detailed, very nicely defined as well. Especially on the back here, you can just see all of that really nice detailing. Very clean, so I do like that a lot. And, of course, the rest of the uh, serpent-like tail sort of goes down. We have more detailing, which looks okay. And even the tail here is just kind of... Eh. The detailing on this figure is not bad by any means, but not great either. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the detailing. I know we didn't really take a closer look at it, but there's not a whole lot to the detailing here. So, the detailing on this figure, there's detailing, and some of it looks nice, but it could have been better. So, the detailing on this figure, I'd say gets like, maybe like three quarters of a pass, but... I digress. Anyway, should you get this figure? It's not a terrible figure, you know? It's not great. And the same thing could be said about the entire Playmates Godzilla line. At least the battle damage line. Uh, the line itself, it's not great. You know, the figures themselves are, you know, alright. But as far as being, like, playthings for kids, you know, they're typically good. But this thing, this is more of, like, an aggressive stance. So it's more like a statue than anything. So... I can't really see kids, like, playing with this too much, so, yeah. So, not a bad figure, it's like 10 bucks at Walmart, so, if you want it, go for it, it's not the worst purchase ever, but, if you don't want it, like, skip out on it, you're not missing much, but if you do want it, it's there, like, walk, don't run to it, it's alright, so, yeah. Anyway, here we have the skull crawler, for a size comparison, let's just... There we go. Nope. Accidentally bumped my phone there, so I apologize. And of course, here we have Dr. Billy Grant. Oh, and some hand sanitizer. Let's just stand him up. So, there you go. Alright. Now, that is it for today. Have a great rest of your week, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Zek out.